Hi, I'm James Callahan from Domino Letting. Over the next six weeks, we're going to tell you all you need to know about investing in property. And today we're going to cover the five traditional methods of investment. Now, all of these methods should be seen as at least medium term, but preferably long term strategies. And that's how we advise our clients. First thing we're going to look at pensions, very traditional. Often seen as a light touch way of protecting for your future. You give the pension over to the pension fund manager and they look after that until it matures. Um, these days very low risk because the money is invested in low yield bonds and positive news in the market these days is that annuities are due to rise the money you get at the exit of the pension. The negative sides of the pension are that there's fears that the bond bubble in the UK may burst. And that's obviously a concern to the pension owner that the money they expect to realise doesn't materialise at the end of the life cycle. Um, you're locked in that pension if you want to realise the, the full potential, you're locked in until the end of the set term, so you can't take that money out as and when you require it. When you do get to the end of the term, you don't get all of the money, you get a lump sum and an annual fee rather than all that up front, so worth thinking about there. Secondly, look at savings. Very, very traditional, a safe and steady way to protect your money, um, whether it be for growth, but just to protect it in the bank. If you've got the right account, you can take that money out as and when you require it, um, although you may want to lock it in to offer a, a better interest rate. The problem with savings at the moment is that interest rates are so low that they're being outpaced by inflation, so it's almost like having cash under the mattress. Um, in real terms, having cash in the bank costs you money because of that outpacing inflation. Next, we look at the stock market. So there's great growth potential in the stock market because it is a, it's a higher risk vehicle. Um, you can exit at will, take your money at any point, whether the growth be there or not. And when you do exit, you get all of the money as you exit. The hard parts of the stock market are that it can be unpredictable and a very stressful way of investing because a lot of people are checking their stocks day in, day out, sometimes several times a day in, and that's not fun when you're looking to just invest in the future. Um, to do it correctly and to go to a, a, a stock fund manager, there can be very high management fees on that, so again, worth considering. Then if we look at investing in maybe a startup business, so like the stock market, great growth potential, and of all, it's probably the most fun way to invest your money because you're close to something that could potentially grow, but um, very high risk because sadly most small businesses, most startup businesses do fail, and it's knowing how to pick the right ones. So with that, you need to be close to the startup first of all, but then you need to know how involved do they want you to be, and if they want you to be involved, do you know business, do you know how to help that business grow and protect your investment? So very, very hands-on, unlike some of the others. Um, a way to avoid that is to maybe go into a corporate vehicle, but those vehicles, those companies have a fairly poor reputation within the startup market because of the onerous terms they put on the startup itself. So last we come to property. Now, property, if you pick the right letting agent, it's completely hands-free and the agent looks after the management of the property all the way through. You can exit whenever you want and realise your money, pay off the loans and then take the rest back for yourself. If you pick the right letting agent, they'll actually help you find the property in the right area, much as we do. When you exit at the end of the cycle, you take all of the money, rather than like the pension, you just take a lump sum in beauty. Um, all the way through the, the property investment, it's the rent that pays your costs, it's the rent that pays the mortgage, pays the property management fees, and pays any maintenances, not you. So that's risk-free in terms of there's no further cash coming out of your pocket. Of all five, Property is the only one that requires a deposit and not all of the money up front. Or the other four require all of the money to be invested. You only need to come up with the 20 to 30 percent and it's the mortgage that provides the rest. So once you take that into consideration with the guarantees you get from Domino Letting and that we'll guarantee to let the property, guarantee the rent for you every single month and we guarantee the service that we provide, that smooths out the bumps. So as long as you're buying in the right areas with good solid fundamentals being good shops, good schools, good transport and good employment, your property will rent and it will grow over the, the life cycle of the, the investment. So join us next week when we'll look at the actual areas in Glasgow to invest in. But thanks for today.